Hi, welcome back to the Big B and Little T channel. I'm Tina, and today we're going to make something that was a favorite of mine growing up. It's my mom's recipe for jalapeno cornbread, which is kind of a misnomer because there's no jalapenos in it, and it's not all that spicy. But it was one that my mom got from one of her best friends, and she would make it for us. It was just a very comforting, different kind of cornbread to have, kind of a dressed up cornbread. We're actually going to veganize it today because my mom used eggs and sour cream and real cheese in it, but we're going to use some substitutions in that and make it taste just great vegan. I've also already preheated my oven to 350 and I've got a 9 by 9 pan lined with parchment paper ready for when we get to that point. So, the first thing we need to do is to chop up a small onion. Now, I don't have a small onion. I have a rather large onion. So I'm just gonna use a fourth of this and I'm gonna get that chopped up so we'll have it ready to add to the ingredients. So first thing we're doing is chopping up a fourth of this large onion. I didn't want to leave any big chunks, so we've got that all minced up. One small onion, or in this case, a fourth of a large onion. And the first thing it calls to do is to add the dry ingredients into a bowl. And our first ingredient is yellow cornmeal. We're going to add one cup of yellow cornmeal to this bowl. One cup cornmeal. Then we have three teaspoons of baking powder. And one teaspoon salt. I'm using sea salt. And that is all of our dry ingredients. I'm just gonna take this and stir it around so those are all combined. Okay, then we're gonna add the corn. This calls for sweet cream style corn. So I've already opened the can. We're gonna add that whole can in. One small can of diced green chilies. These are our, quote, jalapenos. They're not actually hot. Okay. Then we need to add the corn, we did that, the chopped peppers, the onion, and the eggs. It calls for two eggs. So what I did, I have whole flax seeds that I have ground up and I keep them in this jar in my freezer. They're all nice and ground up. Because if you use whole flax seeds, you won't digest them, they'll just go straight through you. So what I've done is to make my flax egg, I use one tablespoon of flax to two tablespoons of hot water for each egg. So we've doubled that. We've got two flax eggs and they've sat for about five minutes to get them nice and gelatinous. That's what's going to help bind together, which is what the egg does in the recipe also. Then it calls for a third cup cooking oil. I'm going to make these oil free and in place of the oil I'm just going to use regular pumpkin. doesn't have anything added to it. It's 100% pumpkin and I actually already had a can that was open I used for something else so we're going to use a third a cup of that in place of our oil. And then it calls for one cup of buttermilk or sour cream divided. So we're going to use half of it. And this is some homemade cashew sour cream that I've made. I have another recipe for that that I'll link down below. And so we're going to use just a half a cup of this. So Of sharp grated cheddar. We're going to use follow you, your heart 
grated cheddar, but that goes on the top of the cornbread after we get it into the pan. So here's all our ingredients in our bowl. We just need to mix these up and get it into our pan. It's fun to take old favorites and veganize them. I got my love of cooking from my mom and my dad's mom, my grandma, and um, but a lot of the recipes that I took from them were not vegan by any means. So it's been fun trying to go through and get some of those same flavors I remembered as a kid, but get them veganized. Okay, it's all nice and mixed up. Makes a nice batter. And then we're going to get it into this pan. every corner okay and then you spread the other half of the sour cream and the cheese on top so we're going to take our spoon we're just going to make dollops this is what I recall my mom doing little dollops of sour cream on the top you can kind of picture where you would cut it into nine square pieces and put your dollop on the top of where those nine squares would be. Okay, we're gonna take one cup of these shreds. And then just spread them over the top. Okay. It's ready to go in the oven. We're going to bake it for 30 to 45 minutes. I'm going to test it at 30 with a toothpick test, and if it's not quite done, we'll go five minutes more, five minutes more until we reach the maximum of 45. My mom cooked hers in an 11 by 7 pan, which I don't have one, so that's why we're going 9 by 9, and that's why I'm going to start with the shorter cooking time. So 30 minutes in the oven. We'll check back when we're ready. So our timer went off. I checked it at 30. It was still kind of jiggly in the middle. So I went for five minutes. Same thing. It was a little moist in the middle. So I ended up going for the whole 45 minutes. And this is a 9 by 9 pan for this recipe. Your oven may be a little bit different. So keep testing it. I just took a toothpick and tested it in the middle. And it came out clean. I mean, there's just a couple of crumbs on there. It's not moist in the sense that it's dough sticking to it and the cheese is nice and melted on the top as much as vegan cheese will melt. And we're just gonna let it cool and then we'll cut a slice of it and give it a taste. Okay, so we're back. The cornbread's been cooling for 10 minutes. I've already sliced it and have taken one piece out. That first piece is so hard to get out. I wanted to be able to show you how I could get it out without it being quite so tricky. So we're going to serve up a piece of this and taste it and see how it goes. Well, this piece came out all in one. The first piece came out in a little bit, two parts. I probably should let it cool for a little longer than 10 minutes. But here you have it. There's still some steam coming off of it. It's still quite warm. And we're going to taste it. I'm going to see if it reminds me what my mom's jalapeno cornbread tasted like. Mmm. Very delicious. It's very moist and dense. It won't be like cornbread that you're used to. It almost tastes just like a side dish on its own. But it is very reminiscent of the dish my mom made, although we veganized it, so we didn't add any extra oil. We didn't add real eggs. And I think you should give it a try if you think you'll like it. I would probably call this Mexican cornbread because it has no jalapenos in it. It has a little bit of spice from the green chilies, but it's not overly hot at all. I hope you give it a try. If you do, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.